morning, we continue our extensive coverage of the tragedy in Isla Vista. Later today, UCSB will be holding a memorial at Harder Stadium. That's the big soccer field. It starts at 4 p.m. We're also learning more about the victims this morning. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair spoke with a father who lost his son. He didn't live here, so that's why he never talked about uh, the, the lodges, right, the, the killer. We never heard of this guy. So unlike other family, other two families, they say they, when they saw the news, saw this face, they know something not good for their children. I, when I read about the internet from TV, before I couldn't link to it, I never saw him, because my, our child didn't live here, right? What do you so, say to the students here who are trying to mourn your son? Is there anything they can do? They were thinking of, about having a scholarship or a memorial. Uh, yeah, the chancellor this afternoon talk, talk about this, uh, some scholarship, uh, some some memorial. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing to have. Yeah. Makeshift memorials are growing at locations where six UCSB students were murdered last week. They include the Capri Apartments, a sorority row, and the Ivy Deli. The fatigue of global coverage has set in. Usually the mass media coverage of these events is just really heartbreaking and we do need our privacy. But the difference here is that, you know, Ivy's not a city. We're a territory in Santa Barbara County. We need attention. Student government members say students are coming together and supporting each other. They've spent hours planning Tuesday's Harder Stadium, Day of Remembrance. Classes will be canceled so students can reflect. You know, I think this is really a time for us to all come together as a community and grieve together and pay honor and tribute to the lives lost and really support each other in this time. A memorial wall will also be built at Pardal Hall, where counselors will be available. And I think that's what we really need to focus on, that we as a community are strong and that we as a community are not represented by the actions of this one person. Tracy Lair, News Channel 3.